It's Captain Rob on the 38 Hatteras uh, convertible. 1972, definitely a classic year for us. And so we're on the, the flybridge. The helm station. Teak wood, wood cabinets. It's probably one of the few areas that is showing age, but everything else looks good. The one thing that's great to know about the older Hatteras is prior to 1980, which I read, was that they were all solid fiberglass. Um, a lot of uh, newer boats or other makers, manufacturers have uh, cord, but for 1980, um, Hatteras was known for bu building solid fiberglass boats. And this is a view from uh, the forward helm station, looking aft. Isinglass looks in very good shape. Top, the mini top looks good. Bench seating. It's showing some signs of wear, but uh, good. Got our air horns up front. Forward deck. We'll take some close-ups of the windlass and the bow railing. Alright, this is a view next to the helm station, actually getting up uh, the stairs to the flybridge. Nice wide entry. I like having a straight vertical coming up. This is over looking towards the cockpit from the flybridge. As you can see, plenty of room for fishing, cruising. There's a swim platform on the transom. Have a radar arch with uh, floodlights. Outriggers. Just need to put some aluminum guard on. It'll look good. Captain Rob on the gunwale going to the forward, going to the bow, to the bow, to the windlass, deck railing. It's nice wide uh, gunwale on there. Easy to go in. Uh, go to uh, to the bow. Nice size uh, windlass. Let's start with side. Forward hatch cabin. The uh, canvas is on. I was not going to go and uh, remove it because we have a pending storm coming. And the bimini top, as I stated earlier, is in good condition. Deck feels nice and solid. Captain Rob inside a Hatteras 38, 1972. A definite classic, built to go anywhere. Live on board, go offshore, has done a number of canyon trips. According to our mechanic, uh, he did a lot of uh, the work on the engines. We built the uh, generator last season, and this has a cruise air, air conditioning, which is pumping out. It's a 95 degree day today, here in early summer, right after July 4th. It's nice to have the inside helm with just in case some inclement weather, but the uh, owner usually goes on the bridge, which I'll take photos and uh, some video from above. We have some video and photos of the engines. Cabin door. Out to the cockpit. Refrigerator. From the main salon, you actually uh, head down the stairs to the two staterooms. 
We have one on the forward, which the door is closed, which I took some video of and pictures. And then we have one here on the starboard side with a bunk, porthole, lower berth, cabinet, drawers, venting for the air, air conditioning unit. mirror can't get too close I always take the reflection of myself this is a view from uh, the main stateroom in the forward forward stateroom we have the stairs going up to the main salon I believe there's some storage rug, carpeting. 38 uh, Hatteras has uh, two uh, enclosed uh, staterooms. This is the, the forward stateroom. And there's actually uh, an insert, which is not in right now, but we have an insert to make it a full queen size bed. Reading lights, um, nice teak rod storage above and hatch to the foredeck and uh, the actual portholes both on the uh, port and starboard side open up and plenty of storage underneath yeah, drawers both sides and up front is the forward I believe the anchor locker is up there and a windless circuit breaker switch up front and this is uh, the entrance actually a nice wide entrance most doors are much smaller Draws more space, which is nice. They have a separate actual shower. Looks awesome. A lot of room. Hi, right, Captain Rob here in the engine room. And we're looking here to have a uh, cruise air. Have a 7.5 kW diesel generator which was uh, rebuilt last year through all fittings exhaust on the starboard side new hour meter on one side the other one I'll take a photo of which is the original. It showed like, uh, I believe, 3,000 hours. Mm -hmm. Electric panel on the back, forward bulkhead, port engine. Transmission on the starboard. Sea strainer. I'm just going to go and uh, roll around to the port side engine. And my nice khakis on, so it's hard to go and get really in here. switch battery switch and we're back on the starboard I mean port, in, port engine the battery box it's 
silencer for the gen set, battery charger, and port exhaust, and water pump and through hole fittings, and air blower. And this is uh, in the transom cockpit area underneath. And it looks like we have uh, fuel tanks, water tank, I would go in there but I have white pants on so we'll have to wait for another day to go and get way into the bilge area. It's the only area that I didn't get to today. This is a view uh, of the cockpit from the port side on the gunwale. Plenty of room for the fish. Cool, it could probably fit like uh, five 200 pound tuna in it, so big. And there's uh, pressurized water for salt, water washed down, and fresh water both on the port and starboard side, from what I can tell. Rod holders. It's another view of the uh, cockpit and to the salon cabin door, port side, and talking to the owner, she said that uh, this boat is definitely canyon ready. The electronics weren't on board so I couldn't take any photos and video so I'll have to go and uh, get a listing of what's included. I know there's an autopilot that they put in. But everything is uh, for a boat from 1972. That needs some uh, TLC in some areas. The inside needs a little bit of uh, cleaning. Um, in top bridge area is probably the one area that um, could use a little bit of restoration work but everything else looks very functional and the AC on this is cranking and it was a very hot and humid day today down by the Jersey Shore and this is right after the 4th of July that really hot week and this is uh, Captain Rob signing off from the 38 foot uh, Hatteras 1972 all right Captain Rob gonna be signing off here from the uh, classic 1972 Hatteras 38-foot convertible. Um, this is one of the few, I would say, very versatile um, boats for its size. Plenty of storage underneath, two staterooms, head with a shower, complete separate shower, twin diesel uh, engines, uh, Detroit diesels. I have the specs for the size and everything uh, that I'll write down for everybody. And it has a lower helm station, which I took uh, photos of and some video. Uh, upper bridge, you know, area. The bimini top looks good. And uh, as the owner, the owner really doesn't want to go and sell, but everybody is grown up and out of the house. And uh, she was looking for someone that was, loves the, the water just as much as her. Great boat, great vessel, and uh, ready to go. Captain Rob signing off.